So ChatGPT has the Atlas browser, Publicity has Comet, and Google with Gemini will eventually has its own AI agent within Google Chrome. But Cloud AI doesn't offer any browser. However, Anthropic, as the company behind Cloud, just released the Chrome extension that you can use on Google Chrome, and it can turn the browser into something that feels similar to Atlas or the Comet browser. So essentially, AI can take over the control of the browser and it can do a few things like human do. So you can automate certain boring tasks and AI will just do it for you. So let me show you how you can install and use that extension using Google Chrome. So to get this extension, I highly recommend to navigate to Google and type a keyword cloud in Chrome. That's just the easiest way to find that extension and you can click this result. And after that, you can click Add to Chrome. And by the way, I think it is worth mentioning that right now from my reading, apparently this extension will only work, the agentic feature will only work for Google Chrome, which is very interesting because uh, most Chrome extensions can also work on other Chromium-based browsers like Opera, Brave, Microsoft Edge, etc. But in this case, it will only work on Google Chrome. So make sure that you are using Google Chrome before installing this extension. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So just click the Add to Chrome button and then just wait for the extension to be installed. And you need to authorize the access to your account. Just click Authorize. And by the way, uh, the agentic feature is at least right now is only available if you're using the paid version of cloud there you go so cloud is now in your chrome you can click try a demo but in this case i'll just uh try to do something with this uh, extension now i do recommend to click this uh, extension menu and then pin cloud because you are going to need that very often if you want to access the tool then you can you need to open this so let's say i'm going to open this there you go. This is the okay. This is a beta feature, and then there are some risks. There's also a privacy concern if you uh, don't want AI to see your banking info, financial statement, or anything that is sensitive. Then maybe do not use this feature yet. So if everything is okay, you, you can click I understand. And okay, automate your uh, this is just the onboarding process about a few things that you can do. Uh, next, and then you can use shortcuts similar to the comment browser. Let's go. And there you go. So you can just type anything and AI will do it for you. So for this uh, first demo, later on we do another demo, but for this example, let's say please navigate to the official account of Google DeepMind on X and then summarize the latest tweet and also what people say about it okay let me just verify the spelling okay everything looks good and after that uh you can turn act without asking this is a bit riskier because it's not going to ask you approval first it's just will do it automatically now uh, i'm trying to be more safe here so i'm going to click ask before acting and you can send the message just wait for cloud to take over control of this page of this page and then it will navigate to the website that you're asking for and there you go i have to approve the plan now just wait for it there you go it just opens x yeah it's trying to navigate to this url which is not correct that's not uh, the correct format of google DeepMind, especially on this platform there you go it is taking a screenshot and then it will evaluate ai model will use uh, the screenshot to see is this the correct page or not and if it is the correct page then it will continue to the next step okay you have the option to get a notification when the task is finished but i think that is optional so i'm going to close this i'm going to decline the offer and from what i can tell that this AI agent uh, by cloud seems to be decently fast. It is not the fastest. I think Comet is still a lot faster, but uh, it is also not very slow like the Jan AI agent, something that I covered yesterday. So I would say it is still uh, not quite perfect, but I would say it is very much usable. There you go. It is uh, trying to navigate to some areas. It is viewing tweets, replies, etc. So it's taking screenshot. It can click on the menu, on a link, and also you, yeah, it can scroll down the page. So again, it is very similar the way human would behave on the internet. They can, you know, see things. They can click on buttons, links, and then eventually uh, they can do a lot of things. 
Okay, so it opens uh, this page oh, for some reason. I don't know why. I think that's not something that I was asking for, but that could happen. Okay, so I don't see the orange overlay here, which means it is not actually controlling this page. I think it is just accidentally open uh, a new page. So yeah, it can happen. Okay, uh, I don't know how long it would take. So I guess I'll just uh, skip a word and I'll show the final result. And then later I'll do one more demonstration and uh, we're going to compare that with the Comet browser. It's going to be very interesting. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so it has finished the task and it is able to summarize the content and also uh, give me some general overview about the comments that people made for this particular post by Google DeepMind. So overall, it is able to do the task. Now let's compare it with the comment browser. I have another prompt that I'm going to try. So here I'm going to just copy the prompt. I want you to open Google Sheets and create a blank document that, uh, and I want to get some uh, mock-up income expenses for a small coffee shop business. Now I'm going to copy that instruction. Let's go back to the, uh, to the tab that was used by uh, Google, uh, sorry, by, that was used by Cloud, and I'm going to just paste that. Now uh, I'll just send this. It will create some step-by-step -step process, and then it will need our approval. And after that, it will start doing the job. Now, what's interesting here, it is using Haiku 4.5, which is a fine model, but it's not the best model. I think the Opus and Sonar are still way better, but I think they're using this, uh, the Haiku model, because it is just simply faster and more efficient than the other two bigger models. But anyway, let's continue. I'm going to send the same prompt to comment browser so this is comment from perplexity and i think this is the gold standard it can do a lot of things faster more consistent and better than other ai power browsers that i know including even chat gpt atlas so this process might take quite a while and oh yeah i forgot to mention that this can happen new permission required because cloud is more sensitive there are actually plenty of websites that are by default not going to be touched by the agent so you have to allow the action manually so i'm going to click allow, always allow actions on this page and just wait so as you can see uh, this is the comet browser uh, i would say it is significantly faster it's now working on the document so i'll just keep a watch and i'll show you the result between comet and the cloud chrome extension okay it has done creating this document and in case you're wondering this whole ordeal took less than two minutes to finish using the comment browser so it's just really good at doing a somewhat more complicated task like controlling this uh, tool called google sheets but how about the cloud chrome extension well as you can see it's nothing it's just okay now it's it, or wrote something but that's about it it's very slow and i think a few reasons why it is very slow is first it's going to be very very careful and secondly a uh, cloud is not using the best model it is using the haiku 4.5 which is not bad but if it is trying to compete against chat gpt atlas or the comet browser from perplexity then it's not even close so i'm hoping that Anthropic will improve this agency Chrome extension in the future. I mean, if they want to compete, then they need to up their game. They cannot just uh, stop in this state. They need to be get better as fast as possible. But anyway, I think uh, this tool is still very much usable. If you want to use Cloud for some little and simple agency tasks, I think it can do it just fine. But anyway, that's essentially how you can use the Cloud Chrome extension AI agent in your Google Chrome browser. And of course, there are plenty of things that you can do with this uh, agentic feature. You can use it to do some research, do something on your document, perhaps proofreading your document. You can also use it for shopping and many other cool use cases. Just ask yourself what this tool can do for you. And there's a good chance that it might be able to save or at least make you a bit more productive. So again, that's basically how you can use the cloud Chrome extension in Google Chrome. Thanks for watching and I'll see you 
on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.